Hey, welcome back to my math channel, Math Lab. In this video, I will answer your question number three from Pearson and Excel A level exam for pure math one. This exam is taken in May June session year 2024. Paper reference code is WMA 11 slash zero one. Figure one shows a sketch of the curve with equation y equals to f of x. The curve passes through points minus one, zero, and zero and two, and touches the x-axis at point three comma zero. On separate diagram, sketch the curve with equation the first part y equals to f of x plus 3. First part y equals to f of x plus 3. This means the graph there is a horizontal translation. If something is added to x value, this type of uh, translation transformation is called the horizontal transformation. If the number is positive, if a positive number is there, if the graph will move towards left side, the sketch will move left side. This graph will move left side, okay. If uh, it is uh, negative here, for example, in case if it is negative, it means the graph moves si right side. It is the rule. Okay. Horizontal shift, shift left, shift right. Let me tell you the rule. Like, uh, for example, if you have a function like that, y equals to f of x plus a, and a is a positive value, a is a positive number, okay, and something is added there, this is called shift left. The graph moves left side shift left okay and uh, translated vector will be translated vector will be negative a and zero okay so this value will be negative in that case and if a function like that f of x minus a and a is a positive value this means the graph shift right it shift right okay and if it shift right, the translated vector will be translated vector will be uh, like that a and zero. So it is the rule. You have to memorize this rule. There is two type of transformation, horizontal transformation. One is shift left and other is shift right. Okay. When it is a positive value here and if it is added there, then it shift left and translated vector is minus a and zero. Here the translated vector will be for sure by using that rule, it will be minus a and zero. Okay. So uh, there will be change in x value by minus 3 like minus 1 this uh, will be minus 3 will be minus 4 for sure there will be change in x values here okay the trans uh, there will be new translated point will be you have to get those points and then you will uh, you will sketch the graph accordingly let me write these three points here for the first part you know we have here y equals to f of x plus 3 okay and uh, now that points are translated left side what is the translated vector it translated translated left by a vector what will be the vector you have better you mention this one it will be minus 3 and 0 okay therefore you can mention the new points first point was minus 1 and 0 okay the new point will be it will be translated to the new point minus 1 and minus 3 will make it minus 4 and 0. The new point will be minus 4 and 0. And 0 and 2 will be transformed to this point. 0 minus 3 will be minus 3. And this will be the same number. There is no change in y values. So you can keep the same number here. The third point is 3 and 0. Okay. Now there is a change in x value by negative 3. So 3 minus 3 will be 0 and keep the same number here. Now let's go back there. You know, these are three points actually. This one is 3 and 0. You know, this will this point will go there, right? Like this. And this point will be moved there, left side. And this point goes left side like this. And you will sketch accordingly the same graph like this. Uh, let me show you how to sketch now. Uh, here the space is given draw the coordinate axis x axis and y axis here this is y axis and uh, x axis here this is y and here it is x you know 2 is somewhere here you know that it is uh, 1 and 2 was there and uh, uh, this one is 3 and here 1 2, 3, 4, like this, you can mention some points here. 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. 1, 
do like that. Uh, these are positive values, you know, this point, we, you have to now uh, graph this point, minus 4 and 0. Minus 4 and 0 is here, you know, this is minus 4 and 0. So, you can mention this one and the graph will be the same, this like that, it will, shape will be the same, but it will be transformed uh, to the left side because it is the, it will shift left according to the, uh, according to the given function. So, the graph shape will be like that. Now, this, uh, this is minus 4 and 0, this point is minus 4 and 0 and the next point is minus 3 and 2, minus 3, x is minus 3 is here and uh, 2 is here, right, this one is 2. So, this is minus 3 and 2, this is the other point and the last point is 0 and 0, 0 and 0 is here, 0 and 0. Now, the graph uh, will be the shape of the graph will be the same like that, it, it looks like this way, yeah. Now, you can sketch this graph easily, uh, you have to pass this graph uh, through these three points and the uh, graph goes uh, from the region, it will take turn from here and then it will pass through this point and at the end it look, goes like this way, okay. So, it is passing through better, you mentioned this point as well, it is minus 3 and uh, 2, okay. So, you have to, better you mention the points these three points. If you notice that all these three points are transformed to left side. So, this is the answer for the first part. Hopefully, you understand it, how to sketch this one. Now, for the next sketch here, for the second part, there is two type of transformation here. You know, if negative is there, for example, we have this function y equals to f of ax, okay. And uh, this one, a is a stretch factor. It is called the horizontal stretch factor and horizontal stretch factor is always uh, the reciprocal of this one, it is 1 over a. You have to memorize these rules, okay. And uh, if there is a minus inside, if minus is multiplying, for example, if it is like that only, f of uh, minus x here, only this is minus here inside, minus is multiplying with x value, it is called the reflection in y axis, reflection in y axis, the graph will reflect about y axis. So, graph will, there is two type of transformation, two types of transformation, one is the reflection in y axis and other is trans, uh, horizontal stretch factor, horizontal stretch factor. So, we have these three points and we will apply the rule and stretch factor is here minus 1 over 3, you have to take the reciprocal of this one. If you want to reflect this graph about y axis, you know this point will be somewhere here, you know and this point will come over here and uh, same, the graph goes like this way for sure, uh, somehow uh, the shape of the graph will be like that, you know, it is the flip about y axis, it is called the reflection. For doing this one, first of all you need to find the transform point, uh, these three points are given there, uh, I already wrote here. For the second part, you have to mention there, there are two types of transformation here, number one. Uh, the sketch will reflect in y axis, the sketch reflects in y axis, you have to mention this, okay. And uh, the second thing, the horizontal stretch factor is, because the function is given like that, y equals to f of minus 3x, you can write here the horizontal stretch factor is, horizontal stretch factor is minus 1 over 3, because it is minus, so it will be reflected. You know, you have to take the reciprocal of this one, so it will be minus 1 over 3. Now, write, find out uh, the transformed points, first point minus 1 and 0 will be trans transformed to, because you multiply the x value, it is the horizontal means you have to multiply the x component by minus 1 over 3. Minus 1 multiply minus 1 over 3 will give you the answer. 1 over 3 and 0, okay. And the second point 0 and 2, once you multiply 0 by 1 minus 1 over 3, it will be the same, it will be same. So, it will be 0 because 0 multiply minus 1 over 3 is 0 and keep the y component as is and the third one 3 and 0 will be like that, 3 and multiply minus 1 over 3 will give you the answer as minus 1 and 0. So, these are the transform points. There are two things, the graph, the sketch reflects in y axis and uh, there is a horizontal stretch factor of minus 1 over 3. Now, you need to draw the coordinate axis here. 
like that. This is y axis. This is x axis. Now, right here x axis and this one is y axis. Now mark these points 1 over 3, you know 1 is somewhere here and uh, one, 1 over 3 will be somewhere here, right? It is very small and uh, 0 and 2, x is 0. So this point, uh, this point is uh, 1 over 3 and 0, you can mention this point over here and 0 and 2, 0 and 2 is this is 1, this is 2, this point is 0 and 2, okay? And minus 1 and 0, x is minus 1 is somewhere here and 0, minus 1 and 0, this is the point. As I told you, there are two types of transformation, this will be the graph, exactly this graph and you just reflect the same, same shape, it goes this way around, you know, it will, it, it looks like this, a reflection, okay, about y axis. And now you sketch the same graph over here, here because we have three points, you know this one and here and this one and now you need to sketch this graph accordingly. You know it will go like this, uh, it passes through this one and then for sure it will pass through this point. So this is a sketch for this part, second part. If you notice that uh, this graph is uh, reflected and also there is some kind of uh, horizontal stretch as well you know it is the um, it, it is compressed horizontally hopefully you understand this as well so question number three is done if you have any question please write in the comment box thank you